It was back in the early days of my Minecraft adventures that I discovered this record and a little nostalgia for the game always brings back fond memories of caving adventures and building for the first time while listening to this record on repeat. Rob Darkin's Graveland holds a formidable reputation in the black metal scene. Emerging out of Poland in 92, before the scene flourished with exposure and controversy in Norway, Rob has been consistent in releasing records, over 20 in total since the inception. The quality is somewhat inconsistent, but on Praro Starly, he strikes the nerve with a glorious and immersive record defined by its unique theme of Viking warfare, paganism and mythology, as well as executing some of Black Metal's most standardised principles in a unique and memorable fashion. The beauty of this record is both in its aesthetic and writing, both of which excel, creating a rich atmospheric record of dense mystic black which rolls over the ears with a fuzzy high-end guitar chiming with the deep horns and a buried bass line. Rob's vocals are usually a little shrill for my ears, but on this record he gets the balance right and utilises the wordless screams with thick echoing reverbs that create haunting chills, amplifying the intensity as the screams cry out from under the other instruments. The drums are a tad stiff and lifeless, but they hold a solid beat for the other instruments and never make much of an attempt to gain your focus. The key here is the chemistry between the guitars and the symphonic elements, which continually create the best moments and drive home the strong sense of theme this record has. There's a warlike feeling coursing through these songs. Set in mythic times, one can envision the glory of conquest as the symphonics gleam, victorious sounds of horns blaring the signals of attack across the battlefield. The drums clash and pound like the rhythm of warfare, while Rob delivers his battle cries that echo and resonate under the thunderous noise. The progressions and notation used between the guitars and horns help glue the record together with each 10 minute epic feeling right at home with one another, yet each finding their own niche and mood to carve with a different setting. The album's only flaw is perhaps its production and the drumming which could have been polished up better, but it's always a point of debate that the lack of fidelity falls in line perfectly with the record's ancient and mythic feel, which does an incredible job of uniting such strong themes together under the black metal banner. Thanks for listening. If you'd like to see some more of my music blogs, go check the website out. Every page is over a thousand articles sorted by artist, year, genre and more. Just hit Control F and have a search for something that interests you. You can find a link to the blog in the description box down below, or you'll also find links to my other YouTube channels. Check them out if you are curious. Thanks again for watching, and be sure to subscribe to catch the next upload.